Hey you and welcome, I'm Mr. Barry. In this whole video we're going to be talking about applying masks to your AI generated art. Now in a previous video we went over Night Cafe versus Blue Willow and according to the votes there, Night Cafe got the better one. So we'll be talking about using the masks within the Night Cafe's AI art generator. And the reason why I'm actually doing this is because one of you, a subscriber, actually put in the comments, hey, would you do a video on how to do masks with your AI art? First off, what, it, what are masks? Well, masks are um, basically when you have an image, you can apply the prompt, the new prompt, to just a specific area where the mask occurs. So if you create something there and you wanted something in the night sky, you can actually just highlight part of that sky with a mask, click on done, then create a new prompt saying that thing that you want in the sky, perhaps it's a supernova or something, and then say create, you'll put the supernova in the night sky. So let me show you how to do that step by step. All right, here we are inside of the Night Cafe AI art generator, and I clicked on my creations. You probably noticed there's a lot of unicorns all over the place. Why are there so many unicorns? Well, because today's challenge is unicorns. Yesterday's challenge was a mad scientist, so that's why you see the mad scientist there. But um, anyway, let's look at one of these. So I created this one using all of these prompts. And then what I did was I applied a mask to it to create uh, these up here. So let's say I wanted a starburst. What I did was I took that creation and I applied this black mask that you see right here in the sky. And then I added a prompt and the prompt is way down here but it has a weight of three. There it is right there. So it's colorful starburst, colorful LSD colors. So it'd go with the, uh, the painting, right? And what it created was this, something that actually goes along with the painting, the colors there. It looks like a little starburst up there in the sky. And that was all done using the mask and a new prompt with a very heavy weight there of three. So it created it for me. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to create one as if you have a photo already on your computer. So that's do what's called a start image. So if you look over on the side panel, you notice this start image. I'm going to click on start image and um, I can create with one of these with my family, but I don't want to put a supernova with my family today. So what I'm going to do is click right here and choose a twilight sky that I took the other night and you'll upload it and then you click on done. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, advanced prompt editor just in case I wanted to add more prompts. But I'm going to click on supernova in night sky colorful photo realistic. Now if I needed to add another prompt, I could do that, but in this case, I really don't need it for this demonstration, but just to show you, yes, you can add more prompts. Next, I'm going to click right here where it says Start Image Settings, and if you click on this, you'll notice at the bottom, right here, it says Choose or Create a Mask. So I'm going to click there to create a mask since I haven't created one yet for this image. And I'm going to talk about the tools down here first. The very first tool that we have is the brush tool to apply the actual mask. Next one is erase. So let's say that um, you create a mask there and you say, well, I don't want it there. Just click on the eraser and erase it out. Very easy to do. Next is the pan tool. And this allows me to pan through the image. This is the size, so I'm going to resize my brush strokes to be a little bit larger because I want a big supernova in this night sky. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and pan over to where I want it to be. So I want it to be in this corner here. And now I'm going to apply it, my mask right here. Okay. 
These others, by the way, this is zoom, so zoom in, zoom out, and let's pan this over again. So my supernova will be over in the corner, and this allows me to change my toggle view. All right, so let's click on done here. And now you see the mask being applied to this twilight sky. If something is wrong, I might change this to a twilight sky here. Let's now go down here, and I only need one image. And let's for this demonstration, I'm going to go low res, and let's choose a medium runtime to spice it up, and click on create. And there's the creation. All right, that looks beautiful. So I made a supernova in the sky up here. Now if I wanted to, I could say twilight sky and maybe the outside of this area here would be a little bit lighter and it might blend in a little bit better. Too bad I said night sky, but anyway, that's the idea. Now if you really like this, you can enhance it with this button in the middle here. So if you wanted to enhance it, um, you go two times, four times, or more, and those do cost a few credits, but not very many. By the way, just logging in to your account every day, you get five credits for free. Voting every day in the challenges or participating in the challenge, you get two extra credits. So you get seven credits a day just by being here and creating something. So that's awesome. Um, let me see here. Next, what we want to do is if I wanted to click on evolve and I wanted to change something else in this image I could do that to, to fine-tune something in this I could click on there if I want to create it again but maybe use a different seed number I can click on duplicate by the way the seeds are down here and I've never really found a really good definition for a seed from anyone but I can give you kind of like a rough definition so basically the seed is the way that the AI interprets these words here. And different seeds will interpret the word supernova slightly different or the words colorful slightly different. And um, it's basically, it's really good to actually choose a random seed. And that way you get a different seed every time you create something, which is awesome. So here's a really good demonstration of this. Here I use the exact same prompts as the first image, but I chose a random seed every time I clicked on create. And so, as you can see here, the different seed interprets the same word slightly differently in each image. Hey, so there you go. You now know how to apply masks to your AI-generated artwork so that you can improve on your creations there. Make it exactly what you want. If you like these types of videos, please click on that thumbs up. Comment down below if you have an idea for a future video or a question on this topic or on other topics related to anything in technology. And I wish to say thank you to all those who have been sharing my videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, Selma Teacher 7. Big shout out to all those who have there. All right. Thank you very much. Y'all have a very good day. Bye-bye.